That is not cool. Funky stuff. Huh. Alright. Let me see what I can do with that. Caught on fire. <laughs> that my my logo caught on fire, and it burned all that out of there. This stuff's really funky. Enough. Get rid of all that dusty stuff. Right, before we go too far here, this is spalted ash. This came from Jeremy down in, uh, I believe, Louisiana. <laughs> Let me go check. I gotta make sure. I might be wrong. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> I thought it was Louisiana. It's a little green mill. I'm pretty sure it's Louisiana. Um, Jeremy and his wife Charity Ferguson sent me some stuff up to to play with. Now, this is spalted ash. He sent me. Um, it's really. <laughs> It's really punky, so I'm having a having a time with it. Uh, but <clears throat> other than that, it's uh, it's not doing too bad. Now I'm gonna put clear coat on this, and the other side we're gonna kind of paint it. And I'm not sure if you want to call them spirit stains or alcohol inks or something. But I have some dyes. We're gonna mix them with denatured alcohol, and we're gonna spray them on and see what we get. <clears throat> Anyways, you know the routine. We're going to spray on some uh, white coat lacquer, clear gloss, at 100 RPMs. Probably do a couple coats. I'm only really worried about this section here. As soon as I turn it over, we're going to probably turn part of this away and have to do it again. But you know how it is. Definitely looks like a spaceship bowl. Alright, so we're going to start off with a 120 and go to 600. Uh, <clears throat> it's pretty smooth right now, but I was... <laughs> I had it really cranked up on the 80 grit. And I still got a little bit of tear out here. 
Not much though, just a little bit right here and right here, so. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. That's not what this is. Uh, all right, so we get some sanding sealer on this and then I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I gotta get some things set up, so hang tight. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna use these uh, Folk Art Ultra Dye colors. We're gonna mix them with some, uh, I already sprayed this yellow, cause I didn't, I was just trying to figure out how, what ratios, and I still don't know. But anyways, with denatured alcohol, and uh, it, although this did turn yellow, it's not as dark as I'd like it to be, so. But, I think I was going to try to spray this while it was going around, but I'm not sure, maybe. It sure doesn't. Try to use this material here. It is kind of what I wanted there. Although I need to go around. <laughs> or it's going to start running. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm going to try to explain it. So anyways, I'm going to try to do like a sunburst, and I have, um, I actually have five colors. So I have uh, a solar, uh, lady marmalade, uh, infrared, and hot flash. Uh, those are the colors I'm going with, along with the pucker up color right here. And, and I'm trying to do a sunburst, so I'm not quite quite sure what we're going to get here. I have way too much air going through this gun at the moment. So, so anywho, that's my yellow. I'm going to try to let that dry a little. All right, so I'm just going to put some in here. Uh, what I really, why is it doing that? Ew. And it's stuck to my hand now. <laughs> and I'm just going to dump actually a blob of this in here. Because it took quite a bit, depending on how much of the denatured alcohol you put in it and I got a barrage of oranges to reds now this is supposed to be orange and that really looks red did I hit record oh it looks like I hit record all right so all right so you see my colors um I'm just gonna kind of go Put these colors on out, a little bit of denatured alcohol in these, and we'll stir them up. So, just a little bit of whoop de doo in there. This may have been too much. <laughs> but, uh, not too bad. It way more than I want or need, but. So, I'm not gonna put it all in there. Let's put some of it in there. It's starting to bug me. All right, so we're over a layer. Yep, we're a layer. Can you all see? All right, well, I have to push pause here because I broke my selfie stick and I got to fix it because you guys are leaning on the denatured alcohol can. This is not. There we go. There we go, that's orange. That's more better. That's more better. <laughs> so you really don't need a whole lot of these at all. I need way too much color in here. But I learned the hard way, actually. <laughs> very, very little of everything, actually. I was going for a starburst or a sunburst looking look. And it's kind of, I think, what I have here. And now we get the red on here. Mm, 
Maybe a bit much, huh? That might have been a bit much. Okay, so this is round two. I didn't like the color, so I sanded it off. And I'm gonna try this again, because I put some denatured alcohol in there. And thin it up a bit, so it actually works like I want. Uh, I, I didn't like how the color looked, so I sanded it off. That's why we still got a little bit of red and orange. I, I run the lathe, and I think that really messed me up. And just made it, you know, pretty much an orange. It's not what I wanted, so we're going to put some more in and try this again. Well, I have to do this all in now. And just kind of curious. Oh, I ran out of yellow. Look at that. Woohoo! All right. So that's that color. Now we're gonna wait. Maybe let that dry a bit. I got color all over everything back there. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of the orange stuff. Maybe, uh... I think I like it. I'm gonna let it dry. All right, now that I have no clue at what I'm gonna be doing, I don't know. It clearly doesn't look... Oh, I gotta go down past some screws anyways. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going down further. Still look okay? Yeah, it looks okay. I'm gonna have to go wire to get past some screws though. So I got a little ways to go. Uh, yeah, I think that's one. We'll keep going. Deep enough? It's not really that deep at all. get some lacquer spray down here all right that's what I'm using on the 100 rpm and go not nah, because I got overspray I'm gonna spray the back also again Look how wobbly that's gotten over a couple days. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, outside of my, my little square that I normally work in. So anyways, this was inspired by a couple different people. Um, you know, you got Wayne Woodturner, 
put that over there. Yeah, Wayne does this periodically here and there. Uh, he does some lives and all that, but he does do some painting. He also does some string art and that on it. It's really cool. So I haven't tried that yet, but that's coming. Uh, and then Stuart Farini. Now I have both these guys on the board. Wayne up here and Stuart there. Uh, we'll put Stuart over there also. And uh, Stuart does this quite a bit. And we, we've been watching him here lately. <laughs> it's really cool. He's pretty laid back. It's kind of like, you know, it's just easy going. <laughs> It's like, you know, he, if he don't like it, he takes it off and does it again. And I ended up doing it. Now, I'm happy with how it looks at the moment. Um, it still looks like a spaceship to me. <laughs> uh, it, it's way thicker this this way because this doesn't go very far down. And I didn't think it would look right being that swooped out. Uh, it, the orange, I was looking for that sunburst type thing. You know, the old Gibson guitars that Les Paul's come with that sunburst on it. That's what I was trying for in this, so. That's where we ended up. The orange spalting actually fits in this pretty well. And then the, the, the pole barn logo in the bottom. Uh, thank you, Jeremy, for sending me this. I got lots of other stuff that people sent me I need to get to working on. So um, I'm gonna be kind of doing a lot of that here, there, um, coming up. I know we got some more painting coming up. Uh, collaboration between some of us and throwing somebody else under the bus so when we get to that we get to that now the folk art colors there are 14 of these I'll put a link to where I found all 14 colors for the best price in the description below uh, th there's actually a 15 but it's like a clear coat I, mean, I didn't pay double for a clear coat I got spray can lacquer you know <laughs> But uh, so it's just a hit or miss. That's the first time I ever done it. So it's it's kind of like it was frustrating to me because I didn't know what I was doing and I screwed it up the first time like everybody's gonna, you know. <laughs> but best part is I took it off and started over. So um, give her, uh, yeah, I'll put pictures at the end. You know that. So but give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down, you know, this way or this way. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, give me a thumbs down. Let me know why. <laughs> why not? And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Bye.